Now I have ketones. Now I'm in the, in the ketogenic energy pathway so much quicker. So these are little hacks. Knowing how to use these oils are incredible hacks to move you from sugar burner to fat burner much easier. Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I'm gonna show you which oils you can eat that will make your fasting experience so much easier. So if you're new to my channel, just wanted to say welcome. I am on a mission to teach a million people how to fast this year. And there are so many principles to fasting that are helpful that make your fasting experience easier. And knowing your oils, which ones to avoid, which ones to eat is, it, is crucial. It's a missing step. So on this video, I'm gonna show you how you go about adding in the good oils. And those of you that are new, subscribe, hit the notification button, and if you love the video, share it out into the world. I am on a mission. We are gonna get people healthy this year. It is 2021. This is our year. We are getting healthy, we are staying immune strong. Okay, ready for the good oils? So actually, let me back up one step. Remember, if you didn't watch the last video, watch the last one on the bad oils. But the whole name of the game with fasting is that you wanna go from being a sugar burner to a fat burner. When I say fat burner, what that means is you are accessing the ketogenic energy pathway. And the ketogenic energy pathway will give you ketones. This is why we like to measure our ketones. But what you've got to do if you're new to these principles is you've got to go from sugar burner to fat burner. You've got to make a metabolic switch. People that are stuck in sugar burning world are ones that are eating a lot of sugar, obviously. They're eating a lot of carbs, especially the refined ones, and they're eating bad oils. When you take those out, you will start to make a gigantic step to becoming a fat burner. But the challenge that we have is when you take those out, and you might be thinking this right now, is your hunger goes up. And you're like, oh my gosh, if I take out all the things that you just said, Dr. Mindy, I will be famished. Well, there is one trick to that, and that is to lean into the good oils. So take the bad ones out, lower those refined carbohydrates, and add in good fat. And when you do that and mix it with a fasting window like intermittent fasting, now you can make that switch effortlessly. So what are those good oils? Okay, if you heard my podcast with Dave Asprey, you've got to hear it if you didn't hear it. He talked about MCT oil in his coffee in the morning. He strongly feels that adding MCT oil into our morning drink can make our fasting experience so much easier. I would absolutely agree. MCT oil for you guys, I just wanna make a, a, a clear st statement about this. MCT oil is a part of coconut oil. So if those of you that have been worried about coconut oil causing an increase in your total cholesterol, try switching to MCT oil. So MCT oil will not only keep cholesterol levels at even, but they also have an antifungal piece to them that will help with any of those of you that are suffering with like candida, for example. So I put a tablespoon of this in my organic mold-free coffee every morning, goes bulletproof. And I, I like this one, C8 MCT oil. We'll put a link in the notes for you guys to find that one. So MCT oil is good. Ghee. Okay, ghee, this is actually one of my favorite. I almost wanna show you the inside. This is how much it's my favorite. I, I love ghee. So this is fourth and heart, heart to, uh, ghee, and I actually use the Himalayan one, but what's interesting about ghee is a lot of you that are lactose intolerant can actually use ghee. So it's the lactose has been removed, so just like the rest of the coconut oil molecule has been removed, same thing with ghee. You're getting a very concentrated, therapeutic, the best part of, uh, of a dairy molecule is in ghee and then they heat it up in a unique way. So love ghee, you can put it in, in anything. You can, we cook with it at my house. You can put it in coffee. Sometimes I take a scoop full and put it in my coffee. Um, I put it on raw nut butter. I'll just take a scoop of raw nut butter and put some, a little bit of ghee on top and just eat it as a, as a fat bomb to break my autophagy fast. So ghee, 
phenomenal. Okay, next oil that is incredible is Andreas seed oils. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking, like seed oils, isn't that a bad oil? This is a different type of seed oil, just like the, the MCT oil is the, the refined version of coconut oil. This is the cold pressed version of seed oils. So you are getting all the nutrients and none of the bad fats. My favorite, I didn't have it here to show you, but my favorite is the five seed oil. For women, those of you over 40, as taking the flaxseed oil and putting it on your a scoop uh, or just a spoon and drinking it, these seed oils are delicious, um, is really help for, helpful for estrogen. Those of you that are doing seed cycling, I know that's becoming more popular. These seed oils are incredible for building up hormones. We need to have good oils to make our hormones, our sex hormones, progesterone, testosterone, and estrogen. And if you're not eating a ton of seeds, then where are you getting this, those oils from? Andrea's seed oils is the best. This is the, the one we found the best. We'll put a link for that in the notes as well. Okay. Olive oil. We all know olive oil, right? Because the Mediterranean diet was the best way, the best diet we we're supposed to be on. Olive oil is great. You definitely want it organic and you want to make sure you don't cook it. When you heat it up really high, it turns into a bad oil. So it becomes an inflammatory oil that will keep you in insulin resistance. So make sure it's organic and make sure that you don't heat it up. Now, what do you use if you're like, oh my God, I didn't, a lot of you might be like, I didn't know that olive oil was that. So this is what we use in my house. It's avocado oil. You can use it at high temperature. I love Primal Kitchen. We'll put a link in the notes for you guys. But Primal Kitchen is amazing because they've taken all th things like, like salad dressing and they've put all the good oils in it. Avocado oil for my family is our go-to oil. We have potato chips that we get, or especially like sweet potato chips that I'll eat. Um, those of you who followed the work that I've done on hormones and feasting, I'll, I'll grab myself a bag of sweet potato chips with all, uh, avocado oil in them. Um, and I'm not only getting the good fat, but I'm getting the nutrients from the uh, sweet potato chip to raise progesterone levels. So avocado oil is a great go-to. We love Primal Kitchen. Then you've got things like this, which keto cups, I call these fat bombs. Now I'll read to you what's in here because I know we have a worldwide audience and it's possible that you might have to make it yourself. You might have to find something similar, but basically this is coconut butter, cacao, um, Jerusalem artichoke fiber, which is amazing because that is a prebiotic for your gut bacteria. We've got cacao butter, monk fruit. Monk fruit, by the way, doesn't stimulate blood sugar. It keeps your blood sugar even. And then MCT oil, which is this. So for me personally, when I'm at work and I'm doing videos all day or leading my resetters through detoxing and a fasting lifestyle, and I feel like, oh, I need some food, I will actually just pull one of these out and it's pure fat. So it just comes in a little thing like this. I'm gonna show you just in case you're like, yeah, I don't know what I think of this. I'm gonna show you if I can get it open. This is what it looks like. Tell me what you think this looks like and I'll tell you what I think. Oh, it melted. This is, does it look like a Reese's peanut butter cup? Amazing, right? So I often will do a keto cup when I feel my blood sugar coming down. What is really cool about these oils is that a lot of you guys know I've been wearing a continuous glucose monitor. Uh, my favorite one is NutriSense, and um, I've been watching what makes my blood sugar go up and what makes my blood sugar go down. And these keto cups, legit, when I eat one, my blood sugar dips. So let's think about the power of that for a moment. What I'm doing is I'm eating the extra fat goes up and turns off the hunger hormone. My blood sugar goes down. And so what happens is boom, now I have ketones. Now I'm in the, in the ketogenic energy pathway so much quicker. So knowing how to use these oils are incredible hacks to move you from sugar burner to fat burner much easier. The other one I wanna point out, I don't know if you can see this, but I've got raw nuts. I'm gonna hold it up just so you can see it. Walnut. You know what's really funny about a walnut? What does a walnut look like? It looks like a brain. So there's a reason that nature made it look like a brain. It is good for your brain. 
So it can help with depression. It can help with anxiety. It has great oils in it that some of the other nuts don't have. Um, and you wanna make sure, once again, with any nut that you eat, you wanna make sure that it is raw and that it's organic, otherwise they're heavily sprayed with toxins. And if they're raw, all the enzymes and nutrients have been, have, are, are um, maintained. If they're dry roasted or they're roasted with oils, you're getting the bad oils, plus you've ruined all the nutrients in it. So, good oils. This is the skinny on good oils. And the key to going from sugar burner to fat burner is definitely fasting, but this is the unspoken of hack. If you're eating the bad oils, you may be struggling to get over into this fat burning place. But when you remove those bad oils and you add in the good ones, then all of a sudden your fasting lifestyle literally becomes effort effortless. And if you have had that experience, please leave it in the comments. We are a community here on YouTube that supports each other. And when you guys leave cool comments like that, the other people in this community can read it and they get motivated by it. But that's the deal on oils and it is such a forgotten piece. If you wanna know more about oils, there's two podcasts I wanna encourage you to go listen to. Go listen to the one I did, the Resetter podcast with Dave Asprey, and go listen to the one that I did with Dr. Kate Shanahan. She's written a whole book on how oils are making us fat. And the next part of that story is they're not only making us fat and insulin resistant, but they're really making it hard for us to build a fasting lifestyle. And these kind of oils, these make it a whole lot easier. So as always, let me know, did that help? Are you guys needing more information on food? I know you love fasting and I wanna teach you how to build a fasting uh, lifestyle, which the second principle is that food heals and oils heal like nobody's business. Hope that helps.